Blessed day everyone. So the topics that I want to talk about in this video, a funeral home worker was shot dead in downtown. Jamaican bartender in Barbados charged for breaching curfew and more updates on the COVID-19 cases in Jamaica. So the first topic we're going to talk about is the funeral home worker will lose him life. So make a jump in it. Funeral home worker shot dead in downtown Kingston. A man was shot dead by unknown assailants in downtown Kingston on Wednesday morning. The deceased has been identified as 21-year-old Orlando Maxwell, a funeral home worker of Essential Village, St. Catherine Address. Reports are that about 10 a.m., Maxwell was standing along Upper King Street when occupants of a red motor car opened fire, hitting him multiple times. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police have not ascertained the motive for the killing. So people, this look like him just there at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, feel like say I trail him, trail him. But that are just my personal opinion. 21 years old, young youth, and the thing is, me no know if him just turn up on the corner, ends out, or if maybe him wait on a bus or something. But, I mean, it rough, people, it rough. Me not tell a lie. Man, them not play, the man, them not ease down. Come like COVID-19, I scare them, man, you know, people. The man, them get up every day and still acclaim people's life. And that just goes to show you, say, you have all the things to worry about. I know just COVID-19 you have to worry about. <laughs> you see me? But leave in the comments and make me know when you think about this, no people. I'm going to move right on to the next story. Jamaican bartender in Barbados is first to breach curfew order there. A Jamaican national was remanded in police custody in Barbados after breaching the island's nightly curfew that has been imposed to stem the spread of the coronavirus. Christian Bridget Beacon, a 23-year-old bartender of no fixed address, was the first person on the Caribbean island to be charged with breaking the curfew, according to media reports there. She pleaded guilty to the charge when she appeared in court on the island on Wednesday and was remanded for sentencing on April the 29th. The allegations were that on Monday, March 30th, Beacon was found along Government Hill, St. Michael at about 9.30pm without reasonable explanation for her presence on the street. She was subsequently arrested and charged. Last Thursday, the Prime Minister Mia Motley announced that the government intended to impose a curfew as the number of coronavirus cases continue to rise. The curfew which got started on Saturday, March to 28 is to run from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. until Tuesday, April the 14th. Motley had announced to the critical government departments in Barbados were to be allowed to open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and essential services were to continue to be operated. Up to March 31st, Barbados had recorded 34 cases of the COVID-19. So yes, people, men don't know still, it seems like Jamaicans feel like them can go anywhere in the world and just do as them please, you see me? So honestly, me can't even too sorry for that girl, I'm mean, telling you the truth, because if she knows a curfew are gone, why you dip on the streets them time there, and you don't even have a reason, and like something bad happened to you, and then, you know, then at least them could have said, yeah, you know, me could give her a chance, or me could help her out, or whatever, you don't even have a valid reason, and a them little thing I may mean, complain about, that's why I see Andrew Olness has sent one into the Jamaican and say, yo, you see, if you don't behave on yourself, the COVID-19 are going to spread wicked in a Jamaica. And I see a lot of persons still not take it serious even after him send a message there. You understand what I say? And look upon this now. Yesterday, the curfew was imposed in Jamaica, as in the first day yesterday, right? Last night or whatever, Zane. And already, I see the people, them are going wicked upon the streets. Them now listen, I see man I tell Andrew Olness about him, mother. Now, look upon this video, I'm going to play people, Zane. And look upon the brother, yeah, Zane. I'm going to play the video now, and then I'm going to show you what happened to him. So, watch this. Andrew will pick the water. Big pussy yeah. police, Andrew is going to suck. Come on, I can't do nothing. We all tell we're not going, see there? Life me I make sure go. We all tell we're not going. Andrew is a sucker. You can't have a control again, you have a control, man. Go suck your mama. Bad man. Yeah, see there? Andrew is a sucker. Bad man friends today. We are not going to blood clot tonight. So, when you see what I tell Andrew Olness about him, mother, and this and that, Zane, now look what end up a ham to him. Man, this is a big pussy, all police. Alright, come. Fine, man. Um, this place. 
Same now, go in, see, man. See, I'm on the same one. All right, so when you see what I'm to him, see, a lot of persons are laugh off him now because they must say, yo, if him just said, remain humble, him go video it and put it out on social media and the man them find him. So that's why I have to show you, say, you see, humble is care suck the most milk. When I say, you can't sit down, maybe at your gate or something, but stop act like, say, your badness better than Andrew Olness badness. Your badness not turn up like female, brother. So these are the things them want me to talk about and the people them know, say, there is not supposed to be no social gathering. And why? I'm gonna know people honestly. I don't know why Jamaicans just can't take this thing serious. When I wait for it to spread to 5,000 people, then when I start taking it serious, may I tell you, no, take the thing serious from now. Yeah, me I want to know. But people, me I got also shown you some more video footage of people basically just do some foolishness on the road and them are act like they're not afraid of the police and all them things. So check out them video clips here. Them a come to two. Them a come. Hey, I want it for them. I want it for them. Bumbo clap. I want it for them. No. I want it for them. Hey, hey. I want it for them. All right, so this is my stand, right? There's not a vehicle in sight. Nowhere in sight. <laughs> it's nine o'clock and the police miss it on road. And teleperformance worker, them stuck a beer. Yes. You all are with the United town can't reach our yard. Justice. We need, what is that good? Justice. I see you something. Like, see you Go on, go on! Ten push up, ten push up! Go on, push up! Push up! Push up! Go on! One, two, three! Let's go, let's go! Next one, I'm ready! Sit up, sit up! Sit up. <laughs> come on, come on! Come on, push yourself! Push yourself! Push yourself! Push yourself! Alright, bad, bad, bad. Go back and do your work. You got true, you got true. You got true, you got yeah, man, so them look a thing here. Why me I complain about some of the Jamaicans? Them, I mean, you have some people who know the seriousness of it, you know. But for those who have them little kids on the street, I go on certain way with them. Shame man, oh no, trust me, only is no better than um, the kids, them. Me I tell you the truth. I'm see a video with a soldier man, basically, I send warning to the people, them. Any man who him catch, but they've never say what him say, what him I go do. You understand, people? So if you don't want to pretend like say, oh no, well, bad. Be my guest. You understand? Anything we're going to get, we're going to have to take it. And what I notice with Jamaican Zane, when the Prime Minister try better the situation, them cuss. And then if it get worse, them cuss him. So what is he supposed to do? Tell me, if the Prime Minister try to quell this thing by bringing in the curfew, Zane, we're going to tell me that we can't stay off of the road. Or we're going to basically try to tell me that we're going to value our life because that's what it looked like to me. But people leave in the comments and make me know anything about this no general star. You know, the police, them did say, yeah, well, because of the first night or the first, you know, the first day the whole curfew thing imposed, some people did get a blind. I see the police, them even a help out some woman and thing. But at the end of the day, this is the second day of it, people. And may, may I tell you the truth, a lot of persons are going to want to try the police, them. And I'm not sorry for them. You see me? One might hear me come and I talk about it. But I can't sorry for people when I'm sorry for themselves. May I have to be honest. Anyway, viewers and subscribers, leave in the comments and make me know anything about this now. And I'm going to move right on to the final story. Third death from COVID-19 in Jamaica. A third novel coronavirus patient in Jamaica has died. The announcement was made by Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton via social media on Wednesday afternoon. He said more details on the patient passing will be provided at a 
a press conference scheduled for later in the afternoon. It's the second reported COVID-19 related death in over the last 24 hours and third overall. The health ministry said it was advised Tuesday afternoon on the death of one of the recovering patients at the University Hospital of the West Indies. Jamaica reported its first COVID-19 related death two weeks ago. The deceased, a 79-year-old man who was hypertensive and diabetic with a travel history from New York. So yes, people, third death, you know, very, very sad thing. And the case is now rise to 44 in Jamaica. And yesterday, I talked about it. It did, I think, our 38. And I did say, yo, I feel like it's something. I just never feel right, people. And see it, it reached a 44. So that's why I urge the Jamaican people them to take the thing serious. Don't make it spiral out of control like some other countries. I tell them the truth. Try to play on a part. Practice social distancing and... I tell you the truth, we we'll don't see how fast we we'll overcome this. But if we we'll now go wait till it spread like wildfire, then I we'll don't know where else we we'll say people. And the next thing we we'll notice is then all of the six people them were test positive. Because remember, 38 and it reached a 44. But all of the six people them linked to a place named Khan Peace Settlement in a Clarendon and a place they're under quarantine. You see me? But viewers and subscribers, leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. And people, stay safe until I drop the next video. I'm out.